morning, Falcons. I'm Allie. And I'm Madison. Today is Wednesday, February 18th. We hope you're having a great day. Our What About Wednesday team has spoken to Krista Johns about being salutatorian. Krista Johns, I am the salutatorian at 5A High School. My favorite thing about 5A is probably being on yearbook. I really like being able to interview people and creating new spreads and ideas. I think my favorite part of actual, like the academic part of 5A is being in the AP classes because all the teachers are awesome and they really work hard to make sure that we get it and we can pass the exams at the end of the year. As far as community service goes, I volunteer at um, Bayonet Point Hospital. I have over 150 hours, which is at the hospital. I'm a greeter, so I pretty much say hi when people come in. And as far as college goes, I want to my goal will be UF, but I'm also considering UCF and FSU. Congratulations to the jazz band who performed at their music performance assessment this weekend. They received two excellence and a superior rating. Congratulations Ashley Guerin, Samantha Giolino, Micah Davis, and Chris Anderson who received excellent ratings on their solos. Connor Davis, Izzy Bodner, Alex Curtin, and Dylan Lambert received superior ratings on their grade three solos. Amber Newland, Victoria Gupton, and Jessica Shetterly received superior ratings on their grade four solos. Noah Hayden, Cameron Allman, Justin Rhodes, Shane Falco, Kana Cravens, and Caitlin Wong earned a superior on their grade five solos, allowing them to perform at state level. The Winter Guard performed on Saturday and received a superior rating as well, earning them the opportunity to compete at states. This is the highest number of participants, superior ratings, and state qualifiers 5 A's ever had. Way to go, Falcons. The last administration of the ASVAB for this school year is March 25th for juniors and seniors. And if you need to sign up, go to Student Services. But for questions, see Ms. Gartland. Adult Ed is back. Now through May 13th, every Monday and Wednesday from 3.15 to 5.15 p.m., you can make up English or math credits, see your counselor to register. There's going to be an Atlantic College Board essay contest. The theme this year is important documents from the U.S. history. It is a 1 to 2,000 word essay and there is going to be a rubric provided. A $5,000 and a $250 prize is going to be provided. You must have a teacher sponsor to enter. The deadline is February 28th and if you need any additional information, please see Mr. Demo in room 4112. Students taking online AP courses need to submit their exam order form to Mr. McDermott as soon as possible. The Bright House David Logan Scholarship is offered to seniors who excel in both academics and athletics. It is a $2,500 scholarship. The application is on www.bhsn.com. The deadline is February 28th, and we will be back after this quick commercial break. You have really cold hands, and you have a really pointy needle that you poke people with and you have gloves, and you wear scrubs. Say it, just say it. You're phlebotomist. Okay, now I have a question for you. Are you 16? Well, I'm a little bit older. About 115 pounds? Yeah, about that. Go during your lunch and get a parental consent form. For what? Oh no, the uh, the blood drive. Push. You can do it. It's almost, it's almost over. over. Push. push. I can't do it. Yes, you can. One final push. <laughs> All right. And we're back from commercial. The school store is still open during all lunches and everything is still $10 or less and purchases can still get your name in a drawing for a 2015 yearbook or a t-shirt. There is going to be a UCF representative here for juniors and seniors March 2nd. It is during 7th period and if you want to attend, sign up in student services. Interested in joining the newspaper or yearbook staff next year? See Mr. Kovac in room 124 for an application. Applications and letters of recommendation are due by April 7th. Interested in doing what we're doing right now? Please see Mr. Bonzer in room 1209 for an application. Applications and, and letters of recommendation are due April 7th. The Pasco Recycling Contest had 120 entries and seven 5A students were chosen as some of the best. Congratulations to Jessica Correa, Megan Tate, Jose Morales, 
Johnny Krager, Caitlin Rhodes, Kyra Campbell, and Aubrey Hall. Their art is on display at the West Pasco Government Center through February 27th. Way to go, Falcons. Congratulations to Eric Engold. His artwork has been selected to be displayed at the Pasco County Fair this week. Way to go, Falcon. Seniors, senior announcement ordering has been extended. The announcement orders can be placed through February 23rd. Order at herfjonesstpete.com. Need cash for college? Marshall is hosting College Goals Sunday, this Saturday, February 21st, 9 a.m. to noon. The location is the Marchman Media. It is a free personalized assistance for completing the FAFSA and FFAA, also to learn about other financial resources. Cheerleading open mats and conditioning are being held tomorrow, February 23rd and 25th, March 3rd, 5th, 12th, 24th, 26th, and 31st from 3 to 4.30 p.m. No experience is necessary, but you must have a current physical part to participate. School appropriate attire, no tank tops or spandex. For more info, see Ms. Bender in room 3121. 5A is hosting Staff for Students Co-Ed Softball Tournament Wednesday, March 11th. The, the, the deadline to sign up is going to be this Friday, February 20th. $20 gets you on a team, a t-shirt, food, drinks, and prizes, and you must have a signed waiver. If you need any additional information, please see Mr. Peruso in room 3120, Coach Paul Lucky in room 1214, Ms. Goodell in room 4209. And if you're more of a spectator, tickets will go on sale the week of the game. Well, Falcons, that's all we have for you today. I'm Madison. And I'm Allie, saying have, have a wondrous, wondrous Wednesday, Wednesday, 5A. Wednesday.